Cockroaches sent to Mars evolve after 400 years. I will explain a Japanese sci-fi movie called Terraformers. In the future, overpopulation is on the verge of destroying planet Earth to create a backup plan in case our ecosystem fails, humans decide to change the atmosphere of Mars and make it suitable for human existence. This process is called topography. They start by growing a simpler life form like moss on its surface. Moss will help increase the temperature of the planet and make it similar to the temperature of the Earth to spread moss on its surface. Genetically modified cockroaches are sent. Hope you note Elon Musk. We are now in the year 2597, somewhere in Tokyo. Two criminals named Komaki and are currently being chased by the police. They frantically ran through the crowd, but were caught when the police surrounded them. A futuristic vehicle flies in the sky and lands nearby. Inside the car were Dr. Honda and his assistant. They are there to track down two criminals and use them to their advantage. The doctor suggested that they become part of a mission to colonize Komachi on Mars and now have to go to its surface. And get rid of all swarms of cockroaches. The duo accepted the offer reduced to two years later and Kamasi has now trained and flew to Mars with other criminals like them in a spaceship called Bugs. Now she is still skeptical of their competence because of the team of thugs and criminals when she talks to Komaki about the case. The ship's captain, Keisuke Dojima, informs them that the ship is about to land. On the surface of Mars, the command ordered people to prepare to land after they had finally landed on the planet. They found that Mars is not as red as it used to be. On the contrary, it looks like the Earth is covered with green moss. Lieutenant Mina launches a device that releases chemicals into the air to kill cockroaches. The captain then ordered them to divide into groups of two and see if the extermination process worked. They plan to meet in three hours and choose their team members. A party member named Asuka was paired with Yakuza, but she did. The captain accepted the request, not wanting a conflict to arise. The team's drones then locate another ship sent from 10 years ago called the Bug. A nearby Dojima contacted the doctor and told him that they were ready for first contact. The doctor began to jump with excitement, anticipating the outcome of the task. The groups then surfaced and began searching for the dead cockroaches. Two members named Jen and Maria were confused when they did not see any cockroaches on the foam as they continued to search. Suddenly the two came across three strange creatures standing right in front of them. They quickly hid behind a rock, fearing that they hadn't heard of large creatures that looked like human-sized human-sized cockroaches and had sticks as their weapons. Meanwhile, Kamasi and the person looking for dead cockroaches come across the same creature. Kamasi was fascinated and tried to wave at him, but within seconds the creature attacked and broke his neck. He then quickly ran away and left like a soft body. On the ground now dead in Kamakai's arms and he watched her suffer. At this point, Jen's group arrives and tells Kamasi about their meeting. The creatures also killed Asuka. They rushed to the ship and told the captain about the creature, only to find that the captain had known about it from the start. The doctor asked him not to tell the team members about the creature. The captain explains that the cockroaches sent 500 years ago have evolved at a rapid rate due to the abundance of radiation, and have now become creatures stronger than humans. Now the doctor appeared as a hologram in front of the team and assured them that they had nothing to fear. The doctor had been preparing for this moment for a long time. He prepared differentiated injections for each genus that would grant them the superhuman strength of certain insects. The drug will improve their DNA by combining it with the DNA of insects by using these unique powers they can fight the evolved cockroaches. However, the members don't want to fight the cockroaches, instead they want to abort the mission and return to Earth immediately, but soon. Their ship is surrounded by creatures. A brave member named Gottlieb volunteered to distract the cockroaches until the others got back to work. He went out and injected himself with the chemical the doctor gave him. As soon as he did this, a mutation rapidly began inside his body, turning him into a hybrid between a human and a beetle. Now, Lee was able to shoot flames from his body just like bugs do with his new powers. Lee fights cockroaches that seem as strong as he is. He uses his unique power and shoot fire from his hand. The force of the fire pushed the creatures back and burned them. But when it subsided, only the exoskeleton of the burnt creature was found. A cockroach then ran towards him and killed him in a flash. Meanwhile, another cockroach clings to the spaceship and smashes its window. He entered the profession and immediately killed two of the members. The captain quickly injects the potion and begins to evolve. 
Its DNA is mixed with the DNA of a bullet ant that is 100 times more capable of carrying an object. By their weight, the captain then easily pinned the cockroach to the ground and killed it. The team celebrates, but their happiness is cut short when they notice a crowd of cockroaches heading for the ship on the radar knowing they can't fight them all, they decide to take off and return to Earth. However, when the mate tried to start the ship, the engine failed and the system stopped working. It looks like someone deliberately sabotaged the ship to prevent it from taking off. The captain quickly thought of a plan to want the whole team to catch the error. And bring all the necessary parts. They'll also have to fix bugs while he fights the cockroaches. Everyone agrees, but Ichiro asks to stay with the captain and help him before going to another ship. Komachi is going to Siena for the first time. He noticed some strange string coming out of his mouth, but didn't think much of it now. The team to get inside the Mars rover will have to overcome a swarm of cockroaches. A member named Tezuka offers to help them avoid the creatures and inject themselves. It develops into a Makli beetle, who can shoot gas projectiles in the form of flames at very high speed. In the meanwhile, the captain fights the cockroaches inside the ship with all his might, but more and more of them infiltrate. He walked quickly to the control room and sucked the oxygen inside the ship. So all the cockroaches inside will die from suffocation. His plan succeeds and soon the cockroaches begin to faint, but the lack of oxygen also harms the captain, doing both. He and Ichiro fell to the ground at the same time as the team inside the rover saw something huge approaching them when they saw clearly, they were surprised to see a huge wave of millions of cockroaches heading towards the theater. Circus. Still will not back down and use all his strength to push the ship forward. They attacked the creatures and soon landed safely on the other side of the wave of cockroaches. The group then happily advanced, but soon another wave approached them. This wave is even larger than the first wave containing millions of creatures. Asuka couldn't handle them together, so two party members named Maria and Dosaku also transformed into their hybrid versions. The three of them tried their best to fend off all the creatures, but the rover turned around and landed aggressively on the ground. All three were thrown to the ground, while those inside the rover were knocked unconscious. The rover turned out to be on autopilot and took the crew to the destination train. Kazuka. Maria and Dosaku attempt to fend off the creatures, but are ultimately killed when the group inside rover regains consciousness. Returning home, they discovered the error while inside, while the two members guarding the entrance, Mina tried to diagnose the ship, and they soon realized that the cook was transmitting data to someone on Earth. Soil. At this point, the group heard gunshots and rushed out. Both guards were killed. The cockroaches have found the weapons of the insects and used them to fight. Kamasi injects himself and transforms into a giant wasp with his new powers, he can punch holes through cockroaches' bodies and kill them in one go. Jen does the same thing and transforms into a desert locust that can jump up to 90 floors, while Mina transforms into a praying mantis that can smash cockroaches to pieces. The scene changed and the doctor called someone. The phone was picked up by one of the cockroaches on Mars. Unlike other cockroaches, it can speak Japanese and communicate with doctors. He warns insects not to get close to Kamasi once he has transformed because his insects are extremely dangerous. After the end of the call, the cockroach goes inside the jar, so does the insect and its oxygen circulation. Then, the creature's body was ripped apart in the middle and a shape-shifting Asuka appeared from within. The team thought she was dead, but it turns out she was on the medical side the whole time. Her only strength after being injected is that she has the ability to mind control the cockroach like an emerald bee. So she controlled the insects to resist and survive. Then she killed the captain and poured water on it. The bodies of the heroes of Ichiro 2 were in the plan from the start. His body has mutated into the Asian Corona coronavirus, creating an organism that can survive in extreme conditions and requires only water to reactivate. The doctor has given them a mission to bring a cockroach egg back to Earth so that the Japanese government can breed them and use them to strengthen their army. This is their main mission, and the task of killing cockroaches is just bait. Ichiro arrives at Asuka, then takes off the ship with the egg in it. The egg begins to hatch halfway and spawns two evolved cockroaches. Asuka tried to use her powers to control them, but to no avail. Creatures are much more evolved than others, making them the most powerful. They kill Asuka and call on their fellows for help. Cockroaches on the water called it and flapped its wings to fly back to the ship. When a swarm of cockroaches latched onto the ship, it began to malfunction and bumped into the insect's side. 
One of the cockroaches evolved out of the ship and ordered the others to attack Kamasi. And the Kamasi team injected another dose of the drug, speeding up its evolution. They don't have much trouble fighting normal cockroaches, but the more evolved cockroaches are hard to beat. One of them kills Mina after tearing off her arm. Jin injected himself with a second dose while Kamasi injected a third. With their increased strength, they kill more cockroaches quickly. However, the creatures are far from backing down. Jin injects himself again and grows a pair of wings. Now cockroaches are flying in the sky and fighting. They attack both waves and do not die because of their numbers. Eventually, Jen realizes that to defeat them, they will have to defeat the evolved rulers. He injects the drug over and over, increasing its transformation rate and making it irreversible with each dose. Then he kicked one of the heads and hit his head down with great force. But now he has used all his strength and can't fight anymore. Comanche tries to protect Jin against the other leader but is easily defeated before the leader can kill them. A magical glowing creature flew over. Towards them, he scattered glowing dust around. As everyone looked at him in amazement, the flying creature was now the one that had evolved into his final form. Kamasi flew towards now, but before he could get it, one of the cockroaches shot him. However, Dustin and now spread turned out to be small explosives that created a series of explosions. Carrying all the cockroaches, Jen flew away before the explosion could reach her and save Kamasi just in time. However, now dying in the explosion some time later, Kamasi awakens. And see that Jen has completely turned into a bug. Jin asks Kamasi to come to Earth without him, because that's his new life now. Kamasi obliged and walked towards the ship before he could get inside. He finds that the chief is still alive. He hit the blues song of the week but forgave his life out of kindness. During his shift, he finds Ichiro still alive. Ichiro saves Kamachi's life by shooting a cockroach in his back. The two then eventually launched the escape shell and flew away to Earth as the cockroaches watched them return to Earth. The doctor notices that Ichiro has hacked into their system and broadcasts the entire encounter around the world. The doctor's assistant begins to panic when the secret of the Japanese government is revealed to the world. However, the doctor seems calm and says that he will sell all the data-making errors to other governments around the world who are willing to buy them. The assistant pointed the gun at the doctor. When she becomes a spy for the Japanese government, the doctor is ready for the attack. Avoid bullets with protective barriers. He then kills the wizard with a poison. This was brought into the lab. In the event of an emergency aboard the spaceship, Ichiro agrees to reveal all those involved in the mission when asked what he wants to do when he returns to Earth, to which Kamasi replies that he will make a grave in his memory. All those who died, then return to Mars. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel. Thanks for watching.